Hi, Chicken Gang. Once in a while, I cover Cathy Wood. Why? 95% of fund managers underperform the index. Some big names from Warren Buffett to Michael Burry, they underperform. Cathy Wood, on the other hand, have a pretty good track record. I believe in learning from successful people, though we may not agree on everything, like in Cathy Wood's case, a 3D printing, etc. Cathy Wood just said this. All of this innovation was going to be very exciting. And then you're going to have all of this destruction, which is going to be um, pretty demoralizing. Uh, it's going to be so important to get on the right side of change. So coming years, investing in the wrong companies is going to be pretty painful. And if you pick the right ones, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. As usual, I like to simplify complicated stuff because macroeconomics hurts my brain. Uh, real consumption dropped 0.4%. Durables consumption dropped 4.3%. Non-durables down 0.5%. Uh, and services up, but up only 0.4%. Get my point? So let's break it down and simplify and see what's the big deal. Cathy Wood takes a lot of reference from the bond market because the bond market is the biggest market in the world. It's bigger than the stock market. She is trying to understand why bond market is going up. When bond market goes up, it's a sign like flight to safety. COVID hit, bond shoots up. 0809 crisis, bond shoots up. Whenever there is a lot of uncertainty, bond shoots up. I've been monitoring bond since 2015. This is a chart I drew over six years ago and it's been moving the way I predicted. So the question is, is the stock market risky now? And Katy was surprised. Uh, I was surprised to see that the rate of growth in M2 has dropped from 27% in February uh, to 13.8%. Uh, uh, and uh, it's a pretty sharp fall. M2 money growth drops significantly. M2 is money supply. So when M2 drops, it's good because the US dollar supply gets lesser meaning your US dollar won't devalue as fast. And that's why I think the US dollar has been going up, predicted by me a few months ago in another video about macroeconomics. I'll link it up here and down below. She went on to talk about oil prices shooting up because it's artificially inflated by OPEC. It's a stupid move. Keeping oil price up will only cause faster adoption of electric vehicles. When something is really expensive, people will go find the alternative. Tesla just had an amazing quarter, 200 plus thousand deliveries in Q2 2021. And in some places, certain Tesla models are sold out for quarter three. I hope oil companies go bankrupt. How dare you? Listening to her, I learned something new. One third of consumption are physical goods like furniture, chair, naughty stuff, toys, you know, physical goods. The rest of the two thirds are services. For me, I live a very minimal lifestyle, so I spend mostly on services. Is that true for you? Just let me know in the comments. Cathy Wood mentioned that the demand for physical goods will continue to drop as the economy recovers. More spend on services. Yup, it's about time I go to Vietnam and visit the hairdresser. Search YouTube on that and thank me later. This bull market has strengthened. It has deflected all kinds of bad news. Doubling in interest rates in the first quarter, the Archegos leverage blow up in the ecosystem, which many thought could cause systemic problems. We've been through tax hike uh, discussions, which sounded pretty onerous in terms of their impact on capital. And we've seen a big correction. Uh, we start Cathy Wood is talking about the strengthening of the bull market because the bull just emerged from many, many painful battles. I mean, it's pretty obvious. We just came out of a recession. Everybody wants to move on. Anybody now calling for a market crash is probably the biggest donkey. Some of you may think that stock market is very expensive. It is not when there is an explosion of earnings growth. As companies begin to make more money, evaluations will seem pretty normal. It's because PE is price divided by earnings. When earnings go up, PE slash valuations will drop. The last part I want to cover on jobs. There are 9.3 million jobs waiting to be filled. She mentioned that there are many people still out there on free money, stimulus checks, and this will last until September. They will be back to work filling in the empty jobs once they stop receiving free money. Unemployment will continue to drop. It's looking good. 
Wrapping up, fundamentals for the stock market looking very strong. Cathy also talked about the rotation of sectors from the value back to growth sector. You know, sector rotation is very normal for the stock market. For growth investors like us, we are in a pretty good position. We make our money grow together. Hope you like this simplified version. Learn something like I did and cheers, appreciate the thumbs up and as always, invest safe. <music>